What's up everybody, welcome back, my name is Jordan, aka the Wizard Lord, and today we are kickstarting off a brand new series, Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. This is a brand new uh, game from Ubisoft that I actually didn't know that it was going to be released so soon. Um, I've been seeing the, the the trailers and stuff coming up in my, my feed, but I didn't actually realize it's going to be so so soon that we'll get to play this. Now, this is a brand new Prince of Persia game. Uh, I, you probably, you might not know this about me, but for those who do know me, one of my favorite game series of all time, I have, I have three, uh, three game series of all time, and they kind of like fit into kind of different stages of my life, like Crash Bandicoot, that, that whole game series was the first ever game series I purchased myself and played myself growing up as a kid. Then, after that game series, I moved on to playing games like Prince of Persia. And Prince of Persia, I think from, I would say maybe like age 10 upwards to maybe like uh, 16, 17. Through my high school years, this game series was my favorite game series. So, we haven't had a Prince of Persia, se uh, Prince of Persia game come out for this series, I think since, it might be 2010? I believe, since the Forgotten Sands, and that game was amazing. I loved that game. The game that came out before it, which was just called Prince of Persia, it was a different take on the series, and I wasn't as big of a fan. It was still a fun game, but uh, it wasn't as, I think, engaging or as enjoyable as the previous trilogy that had come out. It had a lot to kind of fulfill uh, that it kind of missed the mark. Um, but then they released Forgotten Sands and it brought everything back and it did a really good job incorporating like the elements and stuff. Um, and we have on the horizon as well the Sands of Time remake. So I'm extremely excited and I didn't know that they were going to make a... Well, this particular game as well alongside that. So we're kind of getting spoiled now. Hopefully that means that more Prince of Persia games are coming out. But it looks like this one is not going to be following... Uh, the Sands of Time, uh, I guess, characters. So we're getting some brand new characters. It looks like maybe they're making a franchise out of this game. I'm so I'm, ex I'm excited to see what we got. We got in store for us. Hopefully, it's good. And I'm gonna give my honest opinion on the game as we go through. But let's not talk too much. Let's just let's just get into it. Let's just play. Uh, so start so a new game, exploration. Guided. Loads. Uh, explore the world with minimal map. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll do this one. I don't like a cluttered UI. If I can get away with it. Difficulty. Uh, rookie, warrior, hero. You know, I, I, f I feel like we're a hero. I, 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 I'm leaning towards warrior because warrior within, but... Uh, I think we can go a little bit diff more difficult. Uh, what does this say? A th a thar depletion rate? Is that like mana? Maybe stamina? Uh, dodge window, normal. Parry uh, difficulty, normal. Environmental damage, higher. Enemy damage, higher. Oh, okay. So, very fast. I'm curious as to what this... Athara depletion. I wonder if it's like the sands or something. We'll, we'll, we'll go. We'll go hero. So we'll go kind of the mid, the the more difficult one. Thirty years had right, let, me, let me make my camera smaller. Decades without rain. Plains of Fars had become as barren as the loot salt desert. A few arrow shots from Persepolis. The Kushans, bloodthirsty warriors from the east, were attacking So it's interesting this, this art style they're doing. I don't want to talk too much over the the cinematic, but art style I I really Persian I really like. Soldiers defended the land, no matter the cost. <laughs> the whole painted style, like motionless, but. Uh, with like depth fell one by one Anahita summoned her remaining strength in battle Anahita is that is that our villain 
and a heater. For you, Vishka, the Kashan general, victory was certain. Okay. Until history took a different turn. The seven immortals were the best warriors in the kingdom. One of them would become a legend. One of them? Does that mean we like it to choose and we follow follow one of them as our, our main? Okay, maybe maybe we just play as this guy. <laughs> he very much does look like the prince. Just like a little Onward, bit more. Immortals. Um Anahita. Oh, that's Anahita. Wait, so she's not the Don't worry she's about not the me. villain? I'll be fine. Save Persepolis. I trained you for this. I will go help my wounded warriors. Oh, hold on. Noticing with the sword. It looks like the um the original sword from uh the Sands of Time. I think it's the last sword you get in the game. It his his uh bigger blade with a little bit of a, a kind of a hook at the end. It's kind of, it looks like that, so, I don't know if that's a node or if it's the same sword. I wonder if it's the same sword. Let's go, Sargon. Oh, I named Sargon. Oh, I start off with a backflip. Nice. Here we jump. Squares to attack. Okay. Okay, so, it looks like if I hold down, we attack down, hold up. We have, like, up. Left and right, so it is like kind of directional with the combat, that's cool. Okay, triggers to... Wait, I jump back. Oh, we just tap it and we can... Okay, we can... So we have a like a dodge. So that moves us backwards and if we hold forward we slide. Okay. Okay, cool. Jump. Uh, okay, that's block, so opposite triggers block, so left trigger. Lock, right trigger. Now, I wonder what it is on, on controller. That's uh, not controller, keyboard. So, three S and D. Okay, okay, so click is attack. How do we block? Jump, obviously. How do, how do we block? Shift? Okay, shift is dodge. And then control is... Ooh. See, already I don't think I'll be able to use uh, keyboard. Uh, it's like you, where my thumb would be to control the character is where my fingers are, and then I have to take my fingers off of the W S and D to press, uh, dodge or or block. Yeah, I think I think controller will be the way to go. We'll we'll, we'll try out both, but I, I think controller just feels right for this. All right, all right, let's let's see. Wait, I just ran. How do I do that? Press in the controller stick. Also, I the jump. You see how responsive that jump is? That's like I'm, I'm gonna press, press, press. Like you can you can see that is. So when when it comes to platforming games, compared compared to like other games, you want your jump to be responsive because it just it just feels um you, like. Trying to do a, a platforming game where your jump is very lethargic, like you press it and then you jump, then there's like that kind of delay, uh, can be super frustrating, especially with very tight, very um, precise jump uh, puzzles. So they've they've got it, they've nailed the jump. So already I'm I'm excited, and it's and it's a press, uh, it's a time based jump. So if I if I just tap, we get a short jump, but if I hold it. We get a high jump, so 
They they use that that same system with Mario. Uh, if you just do a light tap, but if you like hold it, you kind of jump higher. Though it's it's faster in this. There's a very short jump time window, so it's like almost I'm almost instantly in the sky <laughs> compared to other games. It's pretty cool. Okay, hey, what's down here? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Be on your guard. It's the rush of our. Whoa. Oh. Oh, I dodged you, mate. What are you gonna do? <laughs> He's wondering how he got up there. It's like I, I was, I was down there and I was up here. Oh, oh, oh! Get kicked in the sky. All right, now I have to, I have to remember that this game is like targeted towards younger demographics. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to swear. I might bleep myself if I do swear. I'm Australian, so it's like natural for me to swear. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna really be on my best behavior. Oh, press L2 to parry attack. Ooh. Oh, didn't work. <laughs> oh, I didn't block that. Ooh. Trying to block. Wait, 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 come at me. Haha! <laughs> okay, I was ready that time. Hey, who's having all the fun? <laughs> Damn, that guy's tall. Follow me, Sargon! Alright. Oh, hold it. Okay, that's it. Keep running, Sargon! We must eliminate. Nice. Oh, I like how he runs in from the corner. That was cool. Dodged. How many did you get? I'll get out of your way. And you can catch up. Ah! Wait. Oh wait, he's on my team. <laughs> Alright, so we got a charge attack by the looks of it. Excuse me, those are my guys. Okay. How how did me attack here with a charge attack not do the same thing? Try a charge attack upwards. Oh, is that what that that thing was? That what was it? Ah, uh, Arthur, 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 <laughs> whatever the the mana thing. Oh, you ain't gonna get me. Oh, we got parkour. Parkour, parkour. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, what? Oh, that was cool. Woo. Okay, so hold on. I wanna, I wanna practice this. So if I, okay, so me holding left, I like, I like go back. So can I? Do I just like, I jump at a wall? Oh, that's that's weird. I have to hold to be at that wall, but I have to quickly switch my. Okay, I'm gonna. That's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. So. Um, 
I have to hold the thumbstick against, like, towards the wall and then jump. But if I hold it too long, my character goes back towards the same wall. So, I have to, like, I have to, like, get used to releasing it. That's going to be a little bit tricky because it's very quick. Although, I just did that, so maybe it's not too difficult. Boom! Now, what I... Oh! One thing I'm missing so... F at the moment. Oh! That's a pretty good judge. Oh! Is the, the... The... The acrobatics of jumping over the... Cat, like, the, the... The heads. I, I... I wish that was a thing. Like, in the... Sense of time and stuff, I could... Run up the... The enemy. Oh, we got a finisher move. Okay. Is that what that was? Oh, he's on my team. I hope. Yeah. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. I need health. That general must not be far. Let me handle him. Take this. You might need it. Speaking of health potions, <laughs> thank you. That was literally exactly the right time. Alright, let's go. You whisker. You can't hide from me. <laughs> that, <was so> <laughs> that, that made me like. So far, I feel like I'm, I'm immersed in the, the fight. Well, with like uh, side scrollers and stuff, where your your car like your camera's a little bit pulled back. Same with the third person games as well. You don't necessarily always feel like directly in the fight. You feel a little bit uh, back from it. Um, compared compared to like say uh, first person type game, where you're like you're like right there in it, um, and it automatically makes you feel more immersed but this is this so far is doing a really good job i or like i feel in in it even though i'm like not there because of the the whole depth aspect like with the guy zipping past or the guy running in from the the foreground to to where we were and stuff like utilizing the depth is is doing a really good job i'm really feeling like i'm immersed in the world right, how do we how do we run again hold hold it Super Saiyan! Hoya! <laughs> That's right. Whenever you break down a door, you gotta remember this. You break down a door, you gotta do a cool pose. See? It scared that guy so much. It's all about it's all about the, the mind games. What's it written? Is he, is he play? Oh no, he's a bad guy. But he was on our team. Life ends here. Not if yours ends first. <laughs> nice. Nice, I like that. Whoa. Oh my god, you're massive. Uh oh. I dodged that, didn't mean to, but sure, I'll, I'll take it. Oh! Oh! Ow. Oh, itchy ear. What are you gonna do? It's a standoff. Whoop! <laughs> oh! Uh oh! Ha! Ha! Oh! Did that hit me? No, it didn't. <laughs> Maybe it did, I don't know. Oh, that was pretty cool. I like that. Ow. Oh, oh. That's cheating. That's shit. Okay, I need to block. Oh, get touched! Woo! Wow! What you think? Oh, 
Woo! Come on, you gotta do better than that. You wanna you wanna actually hit me, bro? Oh. Uno reverse. Death has come for you. Damn. Imagine getting impaled by your own trident. <laughs> Rip. The mighty Simurg, protector of Persia, has long left. But should our enemies try to take advantage of the situation, they will soon find that the kingdom's bravest warriors will be their undoing. So it's cool, cool, like the character designs and stuff, they're very different. I wonder if we play as other characters throughout 30 this. years ago, the divine bird Simorg graced my shoulder, thus showing his trust in me to guide our people. Today, I, Tamiris, Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals. Varun, you and your forces have once again saved the kingdom. Hassan, Prince of Persia. Step forward, Sargon. That's us, Sargon. The word of your deeds precedes you through the streets of Persepolis. Accept this royal sash as a token of our gratitude. Sargon, the Rashabar, the black wind that destroys all in his path. I didn't choose that name. You need not worry. I do not attach any importance to these superstitions. Superstitions? The winds also carry the seeds of future harvests. I am truly glad to meet you, Sargon. Thank you, Princess San. I face a princess. <laughs> Let us drop the honorifics. And may we get to know each other in less formal circumstances. Are you coming on to me? As you wish, Hassan. Hey, I mean, sure. He's into it. He's into it. Uh, what is this? Uh, offered by. Uh, cool. There we go. So it's like, uh, does it power us up? The highest honorary distinction. Uh, devised for the most valiant of warriors. Wait, revise. Reser <laughs> I'm really good at reading, guys. Reserve. <laughs> reserved. <laughs> like, if you reserve a table. Come on, Jordan. You can read. Reserved for the most valiant warriors. Okay, now I look like the prince. <laughs> now, now I get, now I got full Prince of Persia vibes. What, what? It, actually, that's a question I have for people. I is is the prince's name ever said in the trilogy? I I honestly can't remember. I remember in the movie that they did of the Sands of Time, his name was Dustin, but. I don't remember if that was his name in the in the series. So if if you guys know, let me know in the comments because I I honestly I can't remember uh, what his name was. Uh, but yeah, we're getting we're getting massive uh, classic prince of Persia vibes. So this guy is a prince. Oh, excuse me. Left. Oh, left. Your left, name up. brings hope to Persia and is feared prince. by the enemy. Reputation. So he's like pr a prince of Persia as well. So I wonder if he's like. Well, I wonder when this occurs versus the Sands of Time. Like maybe this is like a prequel. Uh, was maybe. I didn't ask to be prince either, but fate has spoken, and I must accept it. True. Let's hope to this guy. Varun, we're somehow the only immortals left here. We're somehow the only immortals? Wait, we're immortal? <laughs> the others are probably letting loose up on the roof. Not all warriors belong in the throne room. Join them, Sargon. 
I'll be along soon enough. Is it just like a title then? No, we're not actually immortal, we're just... <laughs> a little bit arrogant to think of you as a, yourself as immortal, but I, I guess... You don't lose a fight. This victory to you, Rashabar. I am glad you're on our Are side. Are sure? Just watch out. The Rashabar is said to sow ruin and destruction. Man, what? What? Why are you so mad? <laughs> it is a double blink when I said that. <laughs> I do not believe such stories. I've seen your contribution in battle. Seen it with my own eyes. That is all that matters to me. A weird thing to say. He must be like general, like a general or something. Interesting. I'm like, it's funny. I'm not getting prince, like not prince. Uh, I'm not getting as much like kind of Persian vibes as I was in the Prince of Persia, because I'm pretty sure the Prince of Persia was based in India, uh, the Sands of Time. So, I th I'm not sure. I'm not sure so much on like the whole architecture of like Persian architecture. I know it's tile heavy, um, because like, Ara the Arabic um, culture created algebra, and part of that is like geometric um, mathematics and stuff. So, like tiles and stuff was very big. Pythagoras and stuff. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Pythagoras is Persian, or like from from like Iran I'm not sure I have to look that up I have to brush up on my history um, but yeah so it's like it's almost feel it feels like a combination kind of of Egyptian I guess color wise like Egyptian uh, and um, and something new so this is this is cool uh, because I know Sands of Time was based in India, so there's a lot more Indian uh, inspiration to the architecture with the, the dome roofs and stuff. I I know that Persia is mo like modern day Persia is Iran, uh, but I I'm not familiar with uh, as much kind of architectural styles and stuff, so. If this, I'm assuming this is accurate. Uh, this would be really cool to kind of learn, um, kind of more of the, those styles and stuff, like the symbology and the shapes and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think I think we're gonna end it here. We're gonna end episode here. It, we've hit the 30 minute mark uh, for this episode. I'm gonna break these up into roughly 30 minute episodes, but we'll we'll base it kind of off of like. Uh, where the story is and stuff. If we're in the middle of something, we'll we'll continue through until we get to like a a good uh, ending point. Um, but yeah, let's end it here. I've I've been I really enjoy this uh, so far. Like the, the combat was really fun uh, to get the hang of and stuff. Uh, it feels very fluent, very quick, um, and it feels like there's um, kind of like. I think the sense of time more than Warrior Within. Warrior Within, I think, is probably my favorite when it comes to combat. But sense of time uh, had similar uh, aspects to kind of how this felt. Felt very fluid, um, very quick. I feel like I'm very agile as a character. Um, so combat feels very fun and very quick, very fluent. Uh, so and it has like a, a hint of potential complexity that's going to unravel as the more we play so i'm excited to kind of uncover that and see we we might get to the feel and vibe of a warrior within's combat that'd be pretty cool um one thing they didn't have which i was um maybe they will uh, maybe it's going to be like an unlockable thing that we we get later is the running up the characters and flipping over themselves like that that's that's like prince of persia uh a game kind of feel to me like when when you do the flips over the uh, the enemies and like slice and dice them, um, hopefully that'd be cool if we unlock this uh, in this. It'll be it'll make sense to be something to unlock, um, hopefully. Uh, so we'll see we'll see. Um, that's the one thing that I'm missing. But so far I'm I'm loving this game visually. So it's really, um, it's a really I I, don't, I haven't really played too many modern games because I'm just so 
chock a block with work and stuff that I haven't really got the chance to kind of sit down and play more newer games. And I know this art style is fairly, fairly uh, contemporary when it comes to the art style that a lot of games use. Like I know Fortnite and stuff uh, use a very similar style, but I think for me playing games, I kind of moved out of uh, playing games as kind of this style was uh, kind of being established and growing. So I haven't experienced that style in my gaming uh, kind of over the past few years. So it's it's really a very visually appealing style, but also it has a a very like the stylized aspect feels very cool. Like I want these characters as action figures. Like I'm getting that kind of vibe, and I'd love to have these like as little figurines and stuff. But I can see the the marketability towards a younger demographic as well. Like they could be toys and merchandise kind of targeted towards a younger demographic based on this design so I'm, I'm really encouraged by that because it means that it's going to open up this franchise to a younger audience and they get to experience the the brilliant series of games that prince of persia is and was back when i played it so it's it's cool to see it evolving and we're getting a whole new generation into this as well so yeah, but uh, other than that, there's not really much to say uh, story-wise. I'm not sure where we're going with it. I feel like we started we started out in a battle, but we haven't really been given any kind of info on I don't know what the overall goal is going to be. So I think we'll figure that we'll find that out in the next in the next part and in the next episode. Like I feel like we're we're just at the beginning. Something's going to happen where our um our world's going to be shaken up, so I don't know, maybe the prince will be, uh, or the queen will, something will happen where they're like, either kidnapped it says, it says the lost crown, so maybe either the crown literally gets stolen, or maybe, uh, the maybe the, the queen gets kidnapped and we got the prince, so maybe he has to like, assume the throne or something or maybe he gets kidnapped I guess we'll find out um, just speculating on story at the moment. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this episode and you've so far enjoyed this game and if you're going to play this game or any of that sort of stuff, let me know down in the comments your thoughts and feelings and all this sort of stuff on this and in general of the Prince of Persia franchise. Have you got, have you guys played the original trilogy? Was it, are you coming to this series and this game because you're a fan of the Prince of Persia games or if... Have you come to this because you're you're curious to see you've never played a prince of persia game and you kind of want to see what this whole series is about i'll be curious to know so definitely let me know down in the comments uh leave a like and all that sort of stuff hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when new videos drop and uh to kind of help support the channel as well hitting a subscribe button the like button and all that sort of stuff helps my channel grow uh and stuff like that so do all of that and that will i will be so thankful for that because uh, I, I want I want this channel to grow, and um, yeah, if if they uh, I'm trying to say something, I'm completely blanking. Um, but yeah, if there's any kind of uh, questions about this series as well, um, I I had my question about what the prince's name was, um, but yeah, I what I what I like to do with uh, these series is like from a from a game developer perspective, that's what I do. I'm an uh, environmental artist is kind of where my my niche is. So I love to pay kind of attention to these sorts of stuff. So if you have like any questions relating to that as well, uh, let, put them in the comments below as well. I'll, I'd love to answer them. Maybe I'll answer them in the next video as well uh, as I'm playing through this. Or I'll, I'll pay more attention to certain things. I'll be, uh, yeah, I, I'm always interested in kind of sharing I love sharing my kind of like take on it from like a more of like a game developer's perspective. Uh, and if you guys are interested in that, uh, I'd love to share that sort of stuff with you guys. Um, I also have another channel that I'm going to be making more videos uh, related directly to game development and 3D modeling and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, they'll be over on my second channel, which will be linked in the description and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I, think, I think we're going to end it here and... 
uh, we'll be back in the next episode, which I'm probably going to record right now because I'm kind of already into this this game. Um, but what I might try and do for this series is, depending on um, depending on how we go, I might record multiple episodes back to back, um, and or or I might record them week to week. We'll, I guess we'll see uh, how I go about that, but. Um, it depends on how, how much kind of engagement I get in the comments and stuff. If people want to know stuff, I might like wait so I can answer them in the next video and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, no, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is going to be a really fun series. I'm excited for where this goes and to kind of see kind of the change that they might be bringing to the franchise and what kind of direction things are going to go. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So yeah, thank you guys so much.